Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Wednesday, May 16th, 2018. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Facebook that uh, yesterday we're actually talking about the 583 million fake pages that they removed. We also learned today that they removed 837 million pieces of spam that had been detected by the automated system of Facebook. So apparently anything that was, um, you know, controversial or anything that's against the rules or the regulations of Facebook were pretty much removed. So it's kind of interesting uh, to uh, see that uh, their system is pretty much so active in, you know, removing all of these little things. YouTube will actually have on its Android app incognito mode. That means you'll be able to go view YouTube videos and it won't actually affect the history or uh, change, you know, whatever uh, preferences you have. You know, right now, if you use the app um, and, and of course, if you're logged in with accounts, you'll notice that when you look at certain types of videos, well, when you, you know, log in on other devices or on your computer, you might notice that they are suggesting the same types of videos. Well, incognito mode is to prevent that if you go and start looking at videos from other types of content, um, it won't affect anything and it won't show up if somebody wants to see what you actually were looking at. Well, it's interesting. Um, last year, if you guys remember, there was the uh, NSA hacking tools that were released and that famous leak was uh, first thought to be a hack of the NSA systems. It turned out to not be a hack, but rather a employee that actually decided to uh, share with the world all the little tools and all the little things that the NSA had to go into devices. Well, this ex-employee is not going to be charged after all, apparently. So this is a very interesting turn of events. I don't know why and what happened, but apparently no charges will be taken against him. Well, Comcast is creating a little stir with some uh, of its users. It actually has decided that if you, um, you know, get the internet service provider, well, even though you go home with your modem and router and just install all of it yourself because you think it's okay, they still are charging you the $90 install fee. So it's creating, of course, a lot of people are kind of a little mad saying, well, if I install it myself, I shouldn't be charged that fee. And uh, so, you know what, if you're about to pay 90 bucks for that anyways, why not let somebody install it for you? Well, a study is talking about self-driving cars, autonomous vehicles in the daily commute. Of course, this is for many people hell where you just get stuck in traffic going to work and get stuck in traffic coming back from work. Well, basically, the uh, self-driving vehicles, if every car would be a self-driving car, they say that the daily commute would not only be less stressful because you're not behind the wheel of your car, but because also these, um, you know, even if there's a um, traffic jam, it would still be less painful than a regular traffic jam with humans. So this is kind of an interesting study here. And it's interesting also because I had that discussion with a friend of mine a couple of weeks back talking about how this would you know, impact the uh, overall commute every day. Well, if you are looking for the Spectre and uh, Meltdown fixes, well, the Spectre fix mostly, Microsoft has updated the Spectre Meltdown fix um, with the KB4100347, and it fixes also a later form of the security flaw that was discovered, and it works on the April 2018 update. I'll have a separate video. And I'll have the uh, link to the update catalog where you can download it to uh, install it. I've installed it on my five-year-old machine, and I now have in fixed for Spectre. So uh, kind of interesting, and I'll be talking about that a little later. Well, Twitter is now being a little more serious with trolling, and is it's introducing a behavior tool that will help it address abuse on its system. It is the f really f real first step to help users that are victims of trolls. 
And of course, um, you know, this has been a problem, a major issue for Twitter for a long time. And even though they talked about, you know, we're going to do something about it, going to do something about it, it always seems that, well, no, nothing was done about it. Well, now they're getting a little more serious, apparently. Bing is a little late in the process, but beginning this June, it will ban any cryptocurrency ads on its services. Um, you know, following other ad networks that are saying, no, no, we don't want to have these crappy cryptocurrency ads of any kind. Especially a lot of them are close to being almost the uh, illegal, almost being fake. And uh, But, you know, better late than never, they say. Well, Bing is going to start banning in uh, June. Uh, Chicago and San Francisco are the next cities where Amazon will actually have its, uh, you know, uh, automated stores, Amazon Go. It's actually going to install these stores over there in a continuing trend of getting, you know, stores with no employees, basically, or almost. And uh, basically, is you know, going to be interesting to see if the trend continues and or if any other retailers might actually want to try the experience. So you left tech and you're looking for a job, a job that will also be a job of the future. Well, a latest study says that one of the highest, best jobs that you can actually check out and um, train for is in IT. Many jobs are going to open up and there's already a lot of jobs. Plus, there's a lot of uh, modern you know, like a lot of the, the, the countries like the United States and Canada are also plagued with one of the biggest problems. The population is getting older. It's more and more difficult to get, you know, uh, people in different areas. So why not go train for IT if you love tech? You'll have a great job and you'll have a job for the future. This was the Tech News Update for Wednesday, May 16th, 2018. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.